Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Antonio Neves, and this is Cool Runnings. Do you remember your first summer job? Were you buttoned up in an office, or did you get your hands dirty? Well, you're about to meet two young men whose summer job is still in progress and bringing in millions. College Hunks hauling junk. Nick, this is Tony. I have a couple things I want to move on to see if you could help me. We can definitely help you with that. Let me get your zip code, where you're calling from. Before we go there, can you move explosives? My wife and I, we're getting along OK. Do you guys move spouses? Is she cute? Hey, man. <laughs> Omar Solomon and Nick Friedman have been class clowns since they were kids, coming up together in Washington, D.C. We were partners in crime in high school, and now we're partners in business. I've had a slew of terrible summer jobs before I started this company. I mean, I worked at the mall, at a CD store. And Omar's mom had a cargo van from her furniture store. I asked her, hey, can I borrow that van and do some odd jobs around the neighborhood? She said, look, as long as it gets you out of the house. So we put college hunks hauling junk on computer printout flyers. We were obviously not so modest at the time. Modesty might not be the first word that comes to mind, but that's how these guys got from a borrowed van to heading up 40 nationwide franchises by being bold and very orange. It's something people talk about at the dinner table. Like, I saw this truck, what the heck do they do? Your eyes are at least gonna head in our direction before you go with the other company, and once we speak to you, our teams will engage you in a way that you've never seen from another service company. If you talk to anybody about their experience moving or getting stuff hauled away, it's always a nightmare experience. The movers showed up late. They were kind of seedy guys wearing white beaters who smelled like alcohol. When someone calls our service, they're usually going through one of the most stressful times in their life. You know, moving is one of the most stressful things that can happen to you. And then we come in, we're kind of this breath of fresh air. You know, we got clean cut, uniform, nice, friendly people that are coming into their home and kind of saving the day. One, two, three. It's almost like a fraternity. And if we create a fun environment for our employees, a great company culture, they're going to deliver a fun experience for the customer, which ultimately is going to lead to repeat referral business and growth. The holidays were especially bright this year, celebrating in an empty warehouse soon to be their new national headquarters. Back in D.C., Nick shows off a favorite souvenir. We decided to keep the door and the driver's seat from the cargo van. I always wanted to get rid of the van. Omar's analogy was, would Babe Ruth get rid of his first bet? I always thought he was a really bright, like a, every mother just thinks, my child is so smart, my child is so bright. But I think he and Nick are such a good role model. You don't have to be this high-tech genius. You can find a business, and it might be in your own backyard. We kind of went into this like gunslingers. We were young and we were just driven. It was just kind of an innate urge within us. We're trying to continually chase this dream that we have of this place that's kind of like Neverland, like Peter Pan, where you never have to get old. Someone once taught me the expression, work smarter, not harder. Building a successful business on your own can be done, but it takes the foresight to spot a market hole, the wisdom to build steadily on values, and the guts to follow your heart. College Hunks Hauling Junk, another cool runnings company. Stick around for more business innovation right here on Business on Main.